In today's video, we're gonna go over the best method for you to farm Herba Mystica, one of the most desirable items that you can get in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, Herba Mystica, like I said, is one of those most desirable items that you're gonna to want to get in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because of the reason that you can use and access sparkling power, which gives you those increased chances to get shiny Pokemon. Now, these items are particularly particularly hard to come by you can only access them in the post game after you've beat the game in five and six star raids but like we've mentioned in a past terraforming video there are a particular number of pokemon that you can go up against in these raids which gives you increased chances of getting herba mystica or receiving herba mystica so in six star raids the pokemon that you're specifically going to look out for are going to be blissey Vaporeon, Farigaraf, Amoongus, Cetitan, and Dondozo. Those are the six Pokemon that specifically will drop more than one different type of Herba Mystica, meaning you're gonna have better chances of getting multiple Herba Mystica from one of these Terra Raids. Five Star Raids, the Pokemon are pretty similar, but they can be a little bit different. They are Gengar, Glalie, Amoongus, Dondozo, Palafin, Blissey, Electros, Drifblim, and Cetitan. Now these specific Pokemon are what you're gonna look out for when you're going after five and six star raids now five star raids are a lot harder to identify but if you come across randomly a five star raid and it has one of these pokemon inside it definitely go after it and use this method that we're about to go over in these games to make sure that you've got increased chances of getting more herba mystica potentially from these raids but in today's video we're going to specifically talk about six star raids because they're way more easy to identify and for farming herba mystica specifically and they might be a bit more difficult to complete but we've done a bunch of guides on the channel please check them out for pokemon that are set up to beat the majority of six star raids in these games so if you're anything like me in your games you're going to be running low on herba mystica most of the time because you were using it a lot in game to activate sparkling power to try and get shinies etc and you can see now i've literally got one herba mystica so i'm, I'm in desperate need to go on hunt all these items so what do we do like i say i think specifically using the six star raids which look like this in your game, which have a pink purple glowing aura around them and will have a like a black background. They're really distinguishable from the other raids. You're gonna get one of these in every single day that will respawn. Once you've beat it, it will disappear. You'll have to use the date skip glitch to regenerate a new one or wait 24 hours till it appears back on your map. But what you wanna do is just locate wherever it is on your map and then fly to the closest area to that and then check it out to see if one of these select Pokemon that we've got marked for six star terror raids that have those higher chances of giving Herba Mystica drops is in this den. So when you come up to it, it's just a case of checking it. It's not one of the Pokemon that we're actually looking for. So in this case, all you want to do is you want to just use the date skip glitch to change your date, come into your home menu, then down into system settings, then down into system down to date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet come down to date skip it forward one day and click ok home menu back into the game and then have a look your den will change you can come back onto the map again and you'll see all the dens and the mass outbreaks will have changed as well and what you want to do is just quickly locate where this six star raid den is now and then we can go and check it out to see if it is one of those Pokemon that you're looking for. So this is a new six star raid den. So we want to just fly over to this area and then we can check to see if this one is one of those specific Pokemon that we're looking for. It is quite a quick method to do this. It might take a little while for you to find that first initial Pokemon, but because the method itself is quite quick in being able to just regenerate the dens and you're going to be able to use this method to really cycle through a lot of them very quickly, that it shouldn't take too long for you to actually do this before you get your first one. This is God of War, so this is no good either. So once again, we want to just use the date skip glitch to change this up and make sure that we are getting a new den and a new place for us to check. Right, so there's our next one. A little bit further away from most things, but we can fly here and check this one out. And the next one, no, killer watro, no good. Okay, so we've got a Farigaraf raid here. It is one of those six Pokemon that we do look out for in a six star terror raid. This one is a rock type. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is set up a sandwich here because we're gonna to wanna to use the raid power function that a sandwich can offer you. So once we've got a picnic set up, uh, we wanna go into creative mode first of all. That's what we're gonna to have to do because not a lot of the standard set sandwiches that are in the list of sandwiches you get 
have this red power level two. So we'll come over to creative mode. If you're wondering yourself how to create sandwiches with this red power, then I'll put a link in the description. You'll be able to use that, I'll take you over. It'll have the raid power level two for every single type in the game that you'll be able to use and kind of match up with whatever terror type you've got. Farigaraf here has the rock terror type. We're gonna need rock raid power level two and you can translate that to whatever terror type you've got in your game. So for rock, we are gonna need, we are gonna need some eggs. We're gonna need one, two, three eggs. We're gonna need noodles as well. Where are you noodles? We're going to need two noodles and one potato tortilla. And then we're going to need some curry powder, curry powder, some pepper and two whipped creams. So that is it. That is a lot of ingredients. The eggs are going to be tricky to put on. They always are, especially when you've got quite a lot of them. But we will see if we can get the balancing act done. So I think we'll probably start with the noodles. We'll try and place them and then we'll put the tortilla on the top there and make kind of like a bed for our eggs and see if we can just place our eggs. As long as you get everything on the bread, then you're normally all right. Um, you do get a little bit of leeway. Where's our other eggs? And the eggs are tricky because they're all like different directions and they face different ways, but they don't tend to slip. So once you kind of, once they land, they kind of like stick. If you get what I mean. I'm gonna try and place this one on top. There we go. And then I think we've got, yeah, we've got more, which is not what we want. Okay, so you can go on there. This egg can, hmm, can you sit on there? Yep. And then we've got one more, which we can probably, hopefully, there we go. Okay, bread, get out of here. Pick in there, and that should give us the rock power level two that we need. As you can see, they are quite tricky, so you've got to just balance the, the ingredients around to create some sort of concoction like this. But you'll get there, and uh, all the ingredients, as you know, if you've been making sandwich, they are available in all the kiosks, delis, and other places around Paldea, easy to obtain. And there's mystery gifts going on this week, so check those out on the channel, and you'll be able to get some free sandwich ingredients. Some of them include eggs and stuff like that. So there's a Tasty Osiris original, and as you can see, we do have that Raid Power Rock Level 2, which is what we wanted. So we are all set now. Basically what you're wanting to do is with the Raid Power is Raid Power Level 1 will give you an additional item slot. So it'll give you an extra item drop in your Raid. Level 2 will give you two extra item drops in your Raid and Level 3 gives you three extra item drops in your Raid. So three extra opportunities to get uh, those more rare items. Herba Mystica are one of those items that are included in the extra drops. So this is why Raid Power Level 2 is probably the most relevant, most the best, most consistent one to do. You don't want to do your Level 3, I wouldn't advise it because you do not really want to be using Herba Mystica to get Herba Mystica, if that makes sense, because you could use your Herba Mystica to have lit Raid Level 3, get three extra drops, but then you could find yourself not getting a single Herba Mystica from a den. So what you really want to be doing, or you could just get one and it kind of cancels it out, so it doesn't make any sense of doing it. So that's why you want to use the Raid Power Level 2. You're not using any Herba Mystica. You get those two extra drops, which gives you an extra opportunity to get additional Herba Mysticas from the Pokemon that can offer up all five Herba Mysticas anyway. So that's why we select these six particular Pokemon to go after with the Herba Mystica farming because they can offer every single Herba Mystica. So each one of their rare drops that they give, they give a chance to give you the Herba Mystica as an option and it can be any of the Herba Mysticas, which gives you a much higher increased chance of getting at least one Herba Mystica and also multiple ones. Now we're stacking the ability with the raid power to increase the odds of getting even more Herba Mystica. So we'll finish this raid up and I'll show you what we end up getting. Erigaraf is done. Remember, you don't need to catch the Pokemon if you don't want to. You can catch them if you would like to, to add to your collection. They're gonna have five guaranteed perfect IVs, of course, so they're great for competitive Pokemon or for breeding purposes, etc. Uh, because we'll be doing this quite a lot, we don't want to 
to catch it. And there we go with the rewards. We've got that sweet Herba Mystica and salty Herba Mystica. And then the additional drops. You can come down to the bottom and see if we get anything else juicy, which we don't this time, unfortunately. But we do get two extra drops and they are down the bottom there. So we don't get anything extra this time. But we do get that sweet Herba Mystica and salty Herba Mystica, which is a great raid drop. And remember, if you do save the raid then before you come into it and you want to check it first before you put the raid power on, to see what drops you get then you can reset your game come out of it and then share it with friends as well so they can get the benefits from the salty the, the extra herba mystica drops that you get so this is basically the method what you would do now is just come into your map you come to your home menu down to system settings down in the system you just do the date skip one more time skip forward okay come back into game and then you would just start the cycle find that next six star terror raid which ours is here you'd head to it check it and then you would repeat the process of finding one of those six pokemon that we're looking for in the game it doesn't take too long to zip around the map find them and then put the raid power on and then just farm that herba mystica until you've got enough for you to have a nice long period of shiny hunting with or whatever you want to do with it so I hope you found this guide useful friends. This is a very useful technique to do to farm Herba Mystica very quickly in game rather than just going and dotting around trying to find five star raids that do drop Herba Mystica as well but aren't easy to identify. So this feels like the best method that we've got right now to farm Herba Mystica and I hope you have found it useful. If you have please consider dropping a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in the next video. So thank you for tuning in, have a great one. Till then, bye-bye.